we have two possibilities. Either they are fleeing from war and they really need to, <laughs> to move, or they are looking for a better life for themselves, for their children, for their parents. And so they are looking for another country to live at least for a period. If people are fleeing for war, I really think this is our duty to give them protection. If they are looking for a better life, then we need to assess if this is also in, in line with our needs. We do need more people uh, and we have jobs for them. Uh, if this is the case, migrants can play a very positive role. The first thing we need to say is migration flows for Europe are completely manageable in their size. We have now a flow which is maximum 1% of the total population in Europe. So this is completely manageable. We need to work with the origin countries to create better conditions for people to live there. People only move if they don't have jobs and proper living conditions. So our priority should be uh, have a real partnership with African countries, with Middle East countries, to make sure that uh, people uh, improve their lives and they remain. If uh, their application is accepted, they can uh, remain in Europe and live and work in Europe. If they are received, we need to have a proper integration plan. We need to create the conditions for uh, the newcomers to understand these local uh, level uh, uh, inhabitants, but we also need to make sure that the local level is properly prepared to receive the newcomers. It is progressive because uh, in the end, all the people involved in these stories will improve their lives. The migrants, because they will have a chance, in fact, to, to get a job, to get a house, and uh, to overcome the situations of extreme uh, distress or poverty they are in their origin uh, countries. But also the Europeans, because look, we have a uh, lack of people in many areas. If this is properly managed, migration can be use, uh, useful, in fact, in all sectors and all levels of uh, qualification.